In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite products for summer skincare. Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 12, 9, and 7. If you are interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more intentional life, you've come to the right place, so be sure to hit that subscribe button right down below the video. If notifications don't bother you and you want to know when I post a new video, be sure to hit that notification bell as well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite products for summer skincare. I am a skincare enthusiast. If you've been following my channel for a while, you will know that I have often posted product empties. I talk about them a lot and do lives on product empties on my Instagram channel. So follow along at Project Happy Home if you're interested in like real time feedback and just wanting to ask me questions about what I use, etc. For full disclosure, I am 42 years old, about to be 43 this year, and I think I've done a pretty good job of protecting my skin from the sun over the years. So I was an MD in a former life. I like to look up ingredients in recent dermatological studies. I don't like to waste my money on things that don't work. One of the first products I wanted to share with you was actually sent to me in exchange for my honest review, and this is a Blissey pillowcase. Now, if you haven't heard of Blissey, Blissey makes silk pillowcases, 100% mulberry silk. And when they contacted me, I was really interested in reviewing their product because I say no to, I would say 95% of things that people approach me about, but I was curious about Blissey on my own. So if you can see here, this is a 100% silk pillowcase. And if you don't know about silk pillowcases, I first started using silk pillowcases because I was interested in its skin and hair benefits. So you have a lot of hair breakage from just rough cotton fibers getting caught on your hair and everything. Silk pillowcases, and in particular Blissey pillowcases, can reduce hair breakage by over 40%. So in the summertime, when we're going to the beach a lot, when we're going to the pool a lot, we have a lot of chlorine, salt water damage in our hair. In terms of skin, you have a lot less moisture wicking from a silk pillowcase, so you retain a lot more moisture in your skin. So when I wake up on a cotton pillowcase, I generally have like all of these like smushed in wrinkles, but when you sleep on a silk pillowcase, you have none of that, like no indentations, nothing like that. And I wish you could feel this through the camera because it is exactly as soft as it looks. You can see this beautiful sheen on this pillowcase. I picked the silver color. I have used a lot of silk pillowcases, and so I can speak reliably to the quality of this pillowcase. This is very well manufactured, very well sewn. Some of the silk pillowcases I've ordered from Amazon and other places have not been that great. You guys, they feel great coming out of the package, and the first time you unzip them, the first time you throw them in the wash, they kind of fall apart a little, and you start to have fraying at these edges. So if you'll notice on the stitching quality, you have all of this double stitch it's really nicely done. It's all inside the pillowcase as well. So you don't even see the zipper really when you are sleeping. It's like a very seamless, nice finish. If you have irritations, if you have skin allergies, this uses no toxic dyes or chemicals. The silk itself is hypoallergenic. So it's really nice on sensitive skin, even kids skin. If you have a child with eczema, etc., this is a nice choice just to like minimize irritation on the skin. Another nice thing about silk in the summer is that it doesn't really absorb your body heat. So the, the pillowcase itself stays cool throughout the evening. If you wanted to gift a Blissey pillowcase to somebody, it's also a really cute gift because it comes in this little foil, um, embossed box that says Blissey and it opens like a cute little drawer. So it's a very nice gift box. And as far as the quality goes, you guys, this is one of the nicest quality pillowcases I have received. And so I'm really happy about it. And thank you to Blissey for sending it to me in exchange for my honest review. I really do look forward to using them. It is really, really soft. <laughs> After I wake up on my luxurious Blissey silk pillowcase, I head over to the bathroom and I basically start my skincare routine. One of the best tips I can give you for summer skincare is to switch over a lot of your products to lighter textures. You have a hotter temperature, so you're sweating more. Light products are really helpful. You know, you don't wanna like layer on too many things onto your face. I don't use foundation, so all you're seeing on my skin right now is a tinted sunscreen, which I will share with you shortly. Um, we're supposed to reapply our sunscreen any day of the year 
at least every two hours because truly chemical sunscreen ingredients in particular degrade. How many of us actually do this? Even I, as a skincare enthusiast, do not reapply my sunscreen every two hours unless I'm at the beach or at a park. So in the summer in particular, to encourage us to do this, it's important to stick to products that you actually like. It's products that the texture is nice, that you don't feel like it's sticky or heavy or shiny, like you're going out like, you know, full on just uncomfortable on your face. So I have some great sunscreens to share with you. But before we get into that, first things first, in the morning, do I wash my face? Not usually. I tend to have dry skin, so I just skip that step entirely and I use an essence. I'll pop it up in the corner here. I really like this Neogen essence right now. It is fermented rice water. It has a really nice texture. I put it in a spray bottle, spray it on my face. It gives me that nice little moisture coating. Then I go in with whatever serums I am working with at the moment, whether it's azelaic acid, a vitamin C serum, something that is targeting what I want to target. So I use vitamin C to, you know, have that free radical damage controlled. I also see a lot of reduction in fine lines and wrinkles when I use that. It's very light and watery. I use the gold standard. It is the most expensive product in my skincare routine. It is the CNE Ferulic by SkinCeuticals. They hold the patent on this formula. They attack anyone who comes close to this formula. I have never seen results with any other vitamin C serum, so I do recommend it, even though it has an incredible price point. Then I go in with any other targeted serums that I am using to address my hyperpigmentation, for example, like transexamic acid. This is not a serum video, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that, but I will link down in the description box below the one from JJ Labs that I'm using currently. Right after my serums, I like to apply moisturizer just to lock in that hydration. Usually I use a hyaluronic acid based moisturizer or a hyaluronic acid serum right before this. The one that I'm loving right now for summer is by Cosrx. Now this one is their um, Advanced Snail 92 Cream. It is very gooey in texture. If I can show you, this is a brand new one because I just finished my last one. And if I lift this lid, you can see just exactly how goopy it is and even how it kind of stretches out as you um, pull it. It has a lovely texture to it. It might feel really strange when you start using it because it's unlike anything I've ever used before. It has this very mucin-y kind of texture. It sticks to your fingers as you move it. And I, and I really like it. I thought I wouldn't at all the first time I used it, but it glides over your face when you put it on. It's very light. It absorbs very quickly. Um, it has a nice little cooling sensation. And I've noticed so much less irritation on my face. I have a tendency to get irritation along my jawline not just hormonal acne, but like that red sort of, you know, flare of like just a contact dermatitis type of feeling like that itchy dry redness that appears. And sometimes with tiny little bumps, sometimes not. This has calmed that down completely. And it is the only thing I really changed in my routine that has given me that shift. So I cannot recommend this highly enough. If you want to try a nice light summertime moisturizer, this uh, snail, Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream by Cosrx, super affordable, really nice product. So after moisturizer, I generally just go in with sunscreen and that is it on my face in the summertime and really for most of the year. Um, some of the sunscreens that I like, you have options with sunscreen. You can use chemical sunscreens, you can use physical sunscreens. Physical sunscreens are the ones where you see the ingredients, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide those basically physically block sun rays from you know causing skin damage and damage to your skin cells. Physical sunscreens are very effective. However, in people with any kind of darker skin tone, you often run into the problem of white cast. I have yet to find a purely physical sunscreen that doesn't give me some type of white cast. So one option you have, if you wanna use a physical sunscreen but you don't wanna get the white cast, is to try a tinted sunscreen. Now this one by um, MD Solar Sciences is the KID one that I use. This is their KID Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 40 UVA UVB sunscreen. This is safe for six months um, and up. This is 2% titanium dioxide and 17% zinc oxide. So mostly zinc oxide. It has a slight tint and it has 
a um, very slippery type of base. It is also water resistant for 80 minutes. My kids who complain about sunscreen really like this one. So if you can see, you can see that slight zinc white cast at the beginning, but as far as white cast goes for something that's a physical sunscreen, it's a lot less than you would expect. So if you look at my two hands, it's very um, minimal white cast. I really like this. My kids who are, have lots of sensory issues with the oilier sunscreens, do not complain about this. It slips on with this nice sort of like dimethicone silicone finish. Uh, another physical sunscreen that I've tried recently is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. And this is their Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This is an SPF 30. And I'll show it to you on the inside of my arm for a different um, area. But if you see here, it's got this light tint. It does come in different shades, so you can shade match to your own color. This is pretty well matched for me. I like it. It's mostly um, a titanium dioxide sunscreen. It is, I believe, 8.2%. And you can see it kind of melts really nicely into my skin. You can kind of see the outline here where I put it on, but it melts pretty well into my skin without any real um, cast or anything. The shade that I have is Spice 08, in case you are close to my shade. I like it a lot. It does give me a slightly powdery finish, which I don't like. So I like my sunscreen to really melt away and I like a dewy finish. This gives you a much more type of matte finish. So if you're going for that, you might really, really like this product. So those are two tinted options that you have. My favorite, however, by far, is this one by Dermatology. I am an affiliate of Dermatology. I really, really love this sunscreen. This is the Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 45 Protect. So it's a really high SPF. For example, the Bare Minerals was just SPF 30. Um, when you put it on your skin, it comes out. This is just a universal tint. So this is the one tint that they have. And it is a, a zinc oxide, octanoxate, so co combination sunscreen. It has physical ingredients and chemical ingredients. So you can see the color here. And as you blend it in, it just provides the barest hint. Now you can see a little bit of white cast there, but as it dries down, that white cast almost entirely disappears. So you have a really nice dewy, not too shiny finish. And I just love it. It stays dewy. So you don't get this like powdery transformation that you get with a lot of other physical sunscreens. So if you can see here, it just goes away completely. It is invisible. It is my daily sunscreen. It's my go-to and I love it. I think it's a great daily sunscreen option for anybody who typically doesn't like the oilier, greasier, heavy feel of sunscreen. It provides a, a really high SPF with, you know, a moisturizer type of feeling. Another really nice feature about dermatology is that it includes a lot of other skincare ingredients like niacinamide, like hyaluronic acid or sodium hyaluronate, which increases the moisture retention in your skin, which decreases some of the hyperpigmentation. You know, it's a really nice cocktail of like healthy skin ingredients. So you're not just getting sunscreen with this one. It's also very reasonably priced and I will put my affiliate link in the description box down below. If you are a person who has issues with your, your eyes burning with sunscreen, particularly in the summertime when you're sweating a little bit more, one thing you can do for that is put a, a little goggle sort of shape of physical sunscreen around your eyes and chemical sunscreen on the rest of your face. So physical sunscreen generally doesn't budge as much. The ingredients don't really cause any stinging or irritation. So if the sunscreen around your eyes is physical, and the rest of it is chemical, you get that nice finish that a lot of chemical sunscreens have without um, causing the stinging and irritation around your eyes. So that's a nice little tip. Dermatology also makes a physical sunscreen, so definitely check that out if you're interested in, in trying that method. Moving on to non-tinted sunscreens, two of my favorite sunscreens at the moment are Asian sunscreens. One of them is by Isntree, and this is their hyaluronic acid watery sun gel, which has eight types of hyaluronic acid. It is definitely prepared as a moisturizer as well as a sunscreen. This one also has a really nice texture. If you see it go on, it is entirely white. It is a chemical sunscreen that uses ingredients like Tinosorb. Um, they are Asian sunscreen ingredients. They are not really used in American brand sunscreens. 
Uh, they are very effective and a lot of them are more sun stable than a lot of the popular um, American uh, sunscreen agents. So it creates a nice dewy finish. It feels really nice. It feels like a moisturizer and not like a sunscreen. That's the best way to describe it. So much so that you wonder about the SPF protection that it says it provides, which is SPF 50 and it's PA++++, which refers to the UVA protection. So really beautiful formulation. Another sunscreen that I'm loving, and I'll pop it up here in the corner, is by Josine. And that is another Asian sunscreen. It is called a prebiotic sunscreen. So it has ingredients in it, like a ferment, that increase the moisture retention in your skin, that harvest free radicals, that is just healthy for your skin barrier. I really like the feel of that sunscreen. It's also an SPF 50 and a PA++ plus four pluses sunscreen. So um, that's another really great option. I really like the packaging on that one as well. It comes in a nice little tube, slip it into your purse really easily. It has just a, a tube cap closure, no leakage, really nice um, moisturizer based feel. Both of those sunscreens are easy to carry with you, super easy to reapply. There is absolutely no pilling on your face with them. I know sunscreen has that issue, particularly for those of us who use serums underneath that they kind of pill on top and you get this like flaking. I have that problem a lot with a lot of the super goop sunscreens, a lot of the Neutrogena sunscreens, which is why I don't use them on a daily basis. But these two, nothing. No pilling, smooth application. You can reapply every two hours with zero issues. Before we leave the world of sunscreen, I just could not not recommend this one by Supergoop. This is their everyday sunscreen, broad spectrum 50. Don't forget about your body, you guys. Like your body needs sunscreen just like the rest of you does. I keep one of these like near the exit door towards the garage so the kids remember to put on sunscreen before we leave for the park or a play date or whatever. Um, this is a sunscreen that I keep in my bathroom as well just to like put it on my arms before I go out. It's really, really nice. Speaking of arms before you go out, when we are out in the summertime, you will notice your sun exposure increases a lot in the car. I use sun sleeves um, by UV Skins. I will list them in the description box down below. I don't have them with me because they're in my car. I use them religiously throughout the summer and most of the year when we have like sunnier days. I also use these incredibly dorky sunglasses that go over my glasses. I'll pop them in the description box down below and that have little side panels because a lot of the hyperpigmentation that happens around our faces is right around our eyes on the tops of our cheekbones where we get a lot of sun exposure. If you go and look in the mirror right now, I bet you anything you have more hyperpigmentation on the left side of your face. The side of your face that faces the window probably has more freckles, etc. Mine definitely does right around here. So I like those glasses because they fit right over mine and they cover the sides. So whether you have glasses or not, I really recommend getting a dorky full coverage pair of sunglasses at least for while you're in the car and driving. The UV skin sun sleeves are also a great option. Most people think that clothes offer a lot of SPF protection but they don't. They're about SPF 15 if that. So if you get an, a UV sleeve that has SPF 50 you really are doing a lot more to protect your skin. If you are really extra like me and you are serious about your sun protection there is a new hero ingredient on the market called Polypodium leucotomus that actually impairs the process of your melanocytes creating more melanin and hyperpigmentation. So if you have an issue with hyperpigmentation, particularly in the summer months, this might be something you wanna look into. This is the one that I use. There are other products with the same hero ingredient on the market. So, you know, do your own research. I will link this one in the description box down below. It's a very small uh, gel capsule, if you can see. And I just take one a day. It's right next to my sink, next to my skincare. And I want to decrease that hyperpigmentation. So it's done a really good job of that, in my opinion. One other sunscreen product, you guys. This is a surprising one. This is by Supergoop. This is their Shimmer Shade SPF 30. And it is a, is sunscreen for your eyelids. So it's just a little paint pot like this. It comes on pretty shimmery. I wish it was a little less shimmery because I'm not really an eyeshadow girl, but if you can see, it's like this little golden shimmer. And on your eyelids, it's, um, you know, it creates a nice little golden shimmer. 
I like it a lot. I'm not wearing it today because I'm not going out. I generally wear it if I'm spending time outside for real. Your eyelids can burn, you guys, they really can. A lot of us avoid, you know, sunscreen on our eyelids because of that burning of regular sunscreens. This one, no burning, no irritation. It doesn't budge all day. It just sort of sticks there on your eyelids. So nice little shimmer shade pot if you're interested. In. Should you use sunscreen in your lip balms? Yes, you should. Um, the skin on our lips is very thin. I generally tend to use drugstore um, lip balms for that. I like the Vanny Cream one that has an SPF 35, I believe. So that's a really nice one. Super Goop makes a really nice one. I also don't have that to show you because I keep that in my car in the, in the summertime. I generally switch up my normal cleansing routine. I use a oil-based cleanser and then I use a gentle hydrating cleanser. But in the summertime, because I've reapplied my sunscreen so often, generally my very gentle cream cleanser isn't enough for me. So I use a slightly stronger one from CeraVe and this is their hydrating cream to foam cleanser. It has ceramides, it has uh, amino acids, hyaluronic acid. It does a really good job. I keep this in my shower and it removes my eye makeup and everything. So even if I haven't used my oil-based cleanser, this does a really good job of taking off all of those layers of sunscreen, etc. Speaking of shower products, another essential for the summer is Penoxyl. This is a 10% benzoyl peroxide uh, foaming wash. You can use this all throughout the year, obviously for back knee, et cetera. But in the summertime, especially when you're showing off your back, your shoulders, areas where you may have bumpy skin, where you're shaving your legs more often, et cetera, this does wonders for getting rid of that. So you just kind of put it on, leave it on without washing it off for just a couple of minutes at least so that it can do its work and then wash it off. If you have body odor issues, I'm telling you, leaving this on in your armpits for like five minutes in your shower without washing it off will do wonders for just making all of that summer BO go away. So Penoxyl, incredibly inexpensive. You can find it at any drugstore. It is a hero product for me. We always have it in the shower. So let's say your skin does get burned. You come home, your skin feels like uh, just a little bit tight or a little bit red or a little bit irritated. It's just been too much sun. One of my favorite products for soothing irritation on your face, whether it's from sun damage or anything else, is this uh, La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm 5. It is a soothing therapeutic multi-purpose cream. It's a dimethicone skin protectant, so really thick. Um, it has shea butter, vitamin B, and uh, a madocasticide, which basically you're talking about a product that minimizes inflammation, that minimizes irritation, and has this like really nice occlusive layer of dimethicone and just creates a nice shield so that your skin can heal itself um, from whatever damage you've done to it. So it comes on quite thick. See how it doesn't budge? even if I turn my hand upside down, it's a very thick moisturizing cream. If you have any irritation, this will take care of it truly overnight. It is a wonderful product, I love it. Their whole Cicaplast range is really nice in my opinion. A lot of it is not available in this country, but you can order it from sites like Stylvana. Last but not least, it's a totally unnecessary product that's just fun to have in the summer. This is by Sol um, de Janeiro, the people who make that yellow bum bum cream that I like so much just because of its scent. I also like this one for its scent. It's a much lighter scent than the bum bum cream. This is called um, Bomb Dia Bright Cream. It has fruit AHAs and vitamin C in it. Eh. I mean, I don't know, honestly, you guys, like I, how effective any of that is or what the concentrations are in this. I have not done my super research in this, but I have used up almost all of it. It is lovely. It is just a light, you know, moisturizing cream to use at night or during the daytime. If you want like a light all over scent, light floral scent, it's much less, um, sort of tropical than the bum bum cream in scent, but very, very pleasant. So have I noticed a huge difference in terms of like exfoliating properties of the AHA or the vitamin C? Not really, but beautiful scent. So that is my big plug for that one. A few of my other summertime favorites in general, a sun hat, this one in particular, this one is from Amazon and I got it. Um, it this one is from Amazon. The bow actually usually looks much better, but I think I smushed it in my bag on the way back from our beach vacation. It has this little cutout here. So if you wear a low ponytail, it just sort of, you know, has a space for your low ponytail. Um, I'm not gonna put it on right now because it messes up my hair, but 
Well, okay, I'll put it on sort of. But I love it. I think it's super cute and chic and it has like a nice broad brim so you actually get some protection from uh, the sun. It's nice and thick. It's not one of those very holy kind of hats. So you don't get sun protection. You get this dabbled look on your face, which is very pretty, but not very effective. So I will put this in the description box down below as well. It has a little adjustable tie inside. I have a very small head, so um, I need that because otherwise all the hats I own just sort of flop on my head if they don't have it. So it's a really really nicely made hat. I've had this for years. I will link it in the description box if I can find it. If not, I'll link something similar. Another thing that I love to have during the summer is for shaving your legs because I hate shaving my legs. I'm just, I think it's totally unnecessary and I wish that we lived in a culture where it wasn't really important, truly, because it's annoying and it takes up a lot of time and it's just something I hate doing. Um, but in the summertime, it becomes more essential because you have to wear shorts and you have to wear bathing suits and you know, you want to be socially appropriate. So I bought this on a whim off of um, Amazon. It's called Flawless Legs. And it's one of those little like almost like Norelco kind of thingies that, um, you know, you turn it on and then the blades turn. It is so effective. I had never owned something like this before. And I was like, eh, must leave stubble. What's the point of that? But it is really, really effective. You just hold it. It's got this really nice ergonomic grip in your hand. You hold it. You put it on your legs. I mean, it takes maybe five minutes total and it is it's basically smooth you know it's not as smooth as like a shave but it's totally smooth enough to go out in and just you know walk about your daily life like to everyone else it would look like you had shaved your legs it's just that you know you can tell the difference between a perfect shave and this but it looks perfect so if you want to like save some time Ladies, I cannot recommend this little doohickey enough. I've used it for at least six months now and it's working fine. So it has a little charging cord that it comes with and you just plug it into the wall. Another summer favorite of mine are Turkish towels. Now I will link a couple of my favorite brands down below. Turkish towels range in price from fairly inexpensive to incredibly expensive. I have never bought an incredibly expensive one, so I can't really speak to the difference. I really buy them because they are incredibly lightweight and thin. So if you can see, like they're very, very thin, um, but they're very big. They serve as really nice beach blankets. You know, you can lie on them. They're big enough to lie on. They're very cute. They have this little fringed edge. You can wear them as like a little sarong, like wrap it around yourself bring it around your neck, tie it. So it's a nice little beach cover up. Um, the sand shakes off of them really nicely. You can get them on Amazon in packs of like 10. These are so thin that they dry no matter what. So you don't have this like mildewy towel situation, which I appreciate. So I love these. I think they are great. You know, they're really lightweight too. So they're nice for wrapping up your hair after a shower, etc. You don't have this like giant towel on your head. So I love this. Last but not least, I mean, what is summer without a cute little, you know, beach bag kind of thing. This is a nice little handheld purse that I, you know, carry around during the summertime, carry it. This one's super sturdy. I like that it has a lining so nothing falls through the weaving. And yeah, I like the little pom-pom tassels and everything. I will link it down below again if I find it. I've had this one for a couple of years too, so who knows if it's still there, but that is my summertime favorites, you guys. I hope that that was helpful. Again, the key is to get sun protection that you will use and that you will reapply, make it easy for yourself, put sunscreen in places that you know you, know you will be every day. So don't hide your sunscreen away. Like keep one at your sink, keep one in your purse, keep one by the door for you know the kids and for you. If you use sun sleeves, if you use those you know, nerdy sunglasses, keep them in your car exactly where you will use them every day. So that those are my best tips to you. And again, thank you so much to Blissey for sending me your lovely um, silk pillowcase. Uh, I can't recommend silk pillowcases highly enough, you guys. If you start using them, I promise you, you will not go back because they are so much softer and more luxurious. And you will notice a difference in your skin and your hair when you start using silk pillowcases. As always, you guys, I know your time is valuable. Thank you so much for spending some of it with me. And I wish you the very best day and a really fun and skin safe, sun safe summer.